So hey guys, so today we're going to take a look at one of the basic problems in Geek. So Geek, so the problem statement is to find, uh, is to convert an array into zigzag formation. So what exactly does it mean by zigzag formation, right? So we're given an array. Uh, so for example, we have one, four, three, and two. So I'm not going to explain here. Let's go to whiteboard. Uh, so we've, we've been given an array, one, four, three, two. So the idea is to uh, convert this array into a specific faction such that the first two pair of elements uh, are in a way uh, uh, such that the first element in the pair is lesser than the second element and that the next two elements in the array are, are such that the, uh, the element, that's, uh, element that's here is greater than the element here and that the next uh, pair of elements uh, is in an order such that it's less than. So it should be less than, it should be greater than, it should be less than, and the element here should be actually less than the element here. So if it's not, we should do a swap and we should uh, we should update the array. So that's the idea behind this problem. So how are we going to solve this problem? Sorry. So it's fairly straightforward. Uh, we would do an initial iteration. Uh, so we have 0, 1, 2, and 3 here, right? So uh, initially we would iterate for the zeroth element and we would check if zero is even and zero is indeed even. So in the case that if it's even, we should check if the element um, that's at the first position should be lesser than the element at the uh, second position. So if it's not, we would do a swap. And likewise, we would iterate to the next element and we would check if uh, I, the element, if the index is even or odd. Uh, so in this case, it's odd. If it's odd, we would check if the element at the first position is lesser, greater than the element of the, uh, of the second position pair here, the pair. Um, if it's not, we would do a swap and we would go to the next index and we would check if it is even or odd. If in this case it is even, so we would check if it is lesser than that. Uh, if this element is lesser than this element, if it's not, we would do a swap. So that's the idea behind solve this problem. Uh, so now I'm going to solve this code, code this problem out in Java, right? So as I told you guys earlier, we would do an iteration. So we would start from i is equal to zero till i is less than n minus one. So why n minus one, right? So we don't want to go till the last element. We're just going to pick two, two elements to do the comparison, right? So there's no point in going to the last element. And then we would do i plus plus, and we would check if i is an even. So we would do we we'll check if i is even, if it is even, and we would check if element at array i is uh, greater than element of array i plus one. So it should actually be lesser uh, in the case of it being even, because uh, like uh, if you take a look here, the one should be lesser than four. If it's not, we would do a swap. So that's why we're checking if it's greater. Uh, so to do the swap, I'm going to declare a temp variable, and I'm going to store AIFI here, and then I'm going to array replace it. It's just basic temporary swapping right that's nothing fancy about it uh, and then at the end we would replace i plus one with 10 uh, so we're done with that uh, we would need to check uh, if, if in the case of the index being uh, odd you would need to check if array of i is a lesser than the array of i plus one all right uh, so in this case we are going to do a swap as well so i'm just going to copy and paste this here and i'm going to compile Yep, uh, let's sum it and see if it passes all the test cases. Yep, uh, so it passed all the test cases. Uh, so that's it for today. Uh, see you again tomorrow with another problem. Thanks.